All right, let's go inside. Hey, <laughs> want to see a 2021? Heck yeah, man. Oh. All right, let's do it. <laughs> I wore blue today for this event. Awesome. I can't wait to see these. Oh, yeah. Pretty old blue. Love it. Elkhart Lake. Matches the shirt. Sweet. And then the other two are? The white ones is right there. Okay. Hello everyone and welcome back to Brink of Speed. Yes, I'm back here at Corvette World. I understand this is three videos in a row that I've been here, but here's the deal. Uh, as you can see, the weather around me is garbage. We've had nothing this whole week but gray skies and rain and kind of cool. It hasn't been super cold. Oh man, look at that. Look at that gorgeous CA with a high wing coming my way. That thing is amazing. Anyway, got a little distracted there. Uh, I'm back here because they have brand new 2021s. Yeah, you heard me correctly. Not 2020s. They already have 2021s. I knew of one, but now they have three of them here. And so I just wanted to come real quick, do a quick video for you guys, show you what their 2021 inventory looks like. That way you guys would, you know, have the knowledge about it and you can make your decision whether this is something you want to pursue or not. So before we jump into the video though, if you have not smashed that thumbs up button, please do so. That helps break the YouTube algorithms. Also, if you have not joined this wonderful Brink of Speed community, please help us out in 2021. My goal for this year is to reach to 50,000 subscribers. Right now, we're right on the precipice of 30. Help me get to 50 by smashing that red subscribe and the bell for notifications when new videos are uploaded. All right, let's get inside. Oh my gosh, you're back. <laughs> How's it going, man? How you doing? Good, doing great. What are you gonna film today? Uh, the three 2021 C8s that they have in. Oh, okay. They actually have 2021s in, so I'm gonna head over to those and start filming, but good seeing you. Well, same here. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Robert? What's going on, man? How's it going? Good. Oh my gosh, look at this white one. Wow. I mean, look at all these C8s, guys. One, two, uh, let me do that better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, good golly. Yeah. So which one, which ones are the 2021s? These three right here, I've got these two white beauties right here and then I've got the Elkhart Lake Blue. Wow. Elkhart Lake was the first and then these two came in together yesterday. Okay. Freaking beautiful, I love that white convertible. This one has the uh, body color. It, it's funny, on the build sheet, the C7s, they call it the body color exterior events. On the build sheet for the C8, they call it body color exterior accents. Yep, so there you, you go. It, you can see it in the uh, there's Ford that. inlets and, then and over on the here. side inlets as right. well. And but I like that they. In the back exit fence. I like that they still went with the uh, carbon right. flash spoiler. Carbon flash mirror and spoiler on Right. Yep. It's awesome. Oh yeah, there's that. I don't know how I feel about that. I think from a distance, as long as it had enough black accent, I think it looked good. I think it's uh, all selective. I will say this, people are probably gonna ask, how do we get gloss black wheels with that wheel design? The answer is, you don't. We did those. Oh, okay. We had a set, an extra set that came with one of the previous C8s. Okay. Set them off power coated them gloss black and as soon as this car came in they came in with the silver wheels oh, okay. which looked good on the blue one but sure. the, this car it needed black yeah it definitely so we needs. put we put them on there so these are 
You cannot, you can get the Trident in gloss black. You cannot get the five smoker in gloss black. So that's, uh, shall we say, a Corvette World exclusive, if you will. So. Awesome. And I love the edge yellow brake uh, calipers as well. And then that looks like they've got the yellow, uh, yellow stitching, stitching GT2 on here. GT2 seats, yep. So how many miles are on this one? 10. Exactly. Oh, 10 miles. And is this a, let me look. Oh, it's a 3LT. Oh yeah. Thanks. Wow. Beautiful. Still got some of the plastic on. So this one is uh, 117,000. And what are the goodies on this? Do we have mag ride? What do mag we have? Everything. Mag ride, front lift, Z51. So pretty much max loaded. Uh, I think the only thing it doesn't have is the uh, carbon fiber interior package. That's what it pretty much has okay. everything else. I mean, because these are an upgrade charge too. This is, you know, I found this is a separate option too to get it the is. cells. I always, the carbon flag. how do you say that? They say nacelles. Nacelles, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's that's really neat because they would be body color otherwise. Right, exactly like that. Like the red one. Purple over there. Right. Yeah, they, we got the red one over here. As you know, that was the one that was sitting over here. We okay. got the closet on that one. I was scheduled to go out later today. Okay. Awesome. The yellow one is still available in 20 and for three miles on it. All right, so this white one. And this one here is um, 2020 coupe. Same thing, fully loaded. 2021? Or 2021, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> 3LT, Z51, mag ride, front lift, engine appearance package, um, oh, carbon flash machine dash wheels, and uh, carbon flash uh, mirror spoiler off. Okay. Oh, yeah. This one's still got the full bag of goodies, including the, that elusive tender that's been missing from a lot of the ones we've oh, got. Okay. This one still has everything. Oh, yeah, go for it. Love that engine appearance yep. package. And yeah, there's the mag ride right there. And love the natural interior, GT2 seats. And obviously it's got the black leather as well. And this is a 3LT. This is a three. Wow. And this one has 60 miles on it. And don't you just love seeing that 2021 on there? That's so cool. 108,000. So like you mentioned in your previous video, um, we now have wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto app. It's a neat feature. Tell them about the seatbelt thing. Oh yes. <laughs> uh, as I, and I said in the comments, did I not? Okay. So moving the car around, as you know, we move cars around, I just hop in and hit the start, and press go or shift it. And you know, I put press go, because that's what it's like in these new ones, having select instead of shift. So it's right. having to get used to that. Um, you have to have your seatbelt on when you do that. So it is a little annoying. I mean, that is, I, I, And what, weird. does it just beep at you it or? It just, it's got a little message that says, must have seatbelt inserted oh in order to go. There's gotta be a way to turn that thing. Oh, uh, I'm sure there is. Off yeah. or down or something. Yeah, I don't know. Cause I'm like clicking, clicking, <laughs> clicking, clicking. It ain't going on. And I'm looking, I see the message. I'm like, oh God, there's that issue. There's that thing. I knew it, I knew it. And I'm like, so every time I move it, I gotta put the seatbelt on, do it. Even if yeah. I'm just moving it like an inch, a few feet. It's right. I said, we gotta put it on. <laughs> so here we go. Here's a new trend from here on out. Right. right. Let us know in the comments down below what you think about this new seatbelt thing. You know my opinion of it. I don't like it. You know, obviously it is a safety thing for, I, I heard it's really uh, built in there for kids, you know, for teenagers, but who's gonna let their teenager drive this car anyway for yeah, the most exactly. part? So, it's a pretty rare clientele there. Yeah, I don't know. Let, let us know in the comments. It is interesting to know that, okay, that's a 3LT, and you see how they did that natural interior. It's got that two-tone black sure, going. Sure, sure. Now, this one is also a, a 3LT. This one is not a Z51, but it has a Z51 spoiler. Okay. Look at the natural on this one. This is... Oh, yeah. Some people may find this too much. I think it's pretty good looking. I love it. It's... I mean, I would rather it have black and natural. Mm -hmm. But in this color blue, the Elkhart Lake blue, it does look good. Yep. Yeah, GT2 seats and another 3LT. Look at that. That's awesome. Even the top of that thing has yep, natural exactly. on it. Exactly. Yeah, whereas oh that, that other one over there, it's black with the natural stitching. This one here is right. completely 
natural suede and all. Yeah, that's interesting. Well, they call I, it natural dipped. I think they should have done black stitching on this. It would have contrasted a little bit. Yeah, I think you it would have looked good. To me, you know what this is? This is a throwback. This is a throwback. Remember when, color, when the Corvette interior colors were all like with yeah. the reds, the whole interior. Like a C4? <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's, that's what this is. It's a throwback. Sure. So for those that, you know, like that, hey, you know, other European exotics do the same thing. And sure. I've seen it. In fact, that Ferrari California was like that. Remember okay. That? Yeah, that? yeah. California. That's true. So, so yeah. this one here is just a straight up 3LT. It's funny. I got the... I got the window stickers at my desk, and this one here was just straight up 3LT. It's just a very clean 3LT, and except for that, uh, the spoiler, which is perfect, because I mean, that's... Yeah. Yep. So, non-Z51. Non-Z51, but 3LT, but, uh, and Z51 spoiler, but everything else is standard. Does just not have standard. the front lift or the... Sure, uh, obviously mag right, right, right. And it does have the standard wheels and the standard black calipers. Uh, it does... They didn't opt for the uh, different color mirrors. So you got the two-tone look on the mirrors, which is still really pretty. I love that color blue. I love Elkhart Lake blue. It's it's beautiful. And, and it's something to note as we, you know, I know we mentioned this when we were doing our 2LT comparison about, you know, the Z51s come standard with that plastic front right. spoiler. You know, you're talking about your clearance. You know, you oh, do yeah. have more clearance without that thing by about an inch and a half. Sure. You know, so for those concerned about, you know, clearance, whether it has a front lift or not, you know, you do have more clearance with the non-Z. Right. All right, so guys, this one has seven miles on it and it is 97,000. Again, look at the 2021 there. Freaking awesome. Since you were here last, uh, we sold the Rapid Blue. Okay. Like I said, pending sale on that red one there. Sweet. And um, we've uh, we've taken in two additional uh, torch reds. Oh wow! So you uh, guys have a lot of torch reds. Last yeah, time I was here. Yeah, yeah. So we well, we got we sent some to Houston. They actually sold one of them already, and uh, we got in two more. They're out back in wash. You can hear the washer going. Wow. Yep. So uh, All right. you know, again, they're, they're coming in. These are our first 2021s. The very first, and um, so you know they are here. They sure. have hit. So and yes, yeah, same story. They took delivery immediately sold it to us i mean that, that's the story i think this one actually drove it home because it's got 60 miles on it but the rest of them they took it straight out of the dealership put it on a trailer and sold it right to us so there you have it folks three 2021s don't delay give robert a call get your butts in here and buy one all right ladies and gentlemen so as you can see that was a very quick video I just needed to get in and out of Corvette World there. So let me just kind of let you know what's going on. Uh, again, like I said in the beginning, the weather has been crap here. I haven't really been able to, or I haven't been able to get my car out of the garage all week. So I haven't been able to do any kind of video with my car. And I had an uncle pass away, so I had a death in the family. And so I'm preparing to leave and go out of town for that funeral. And I just wanted to get this video out to you guys because it's important to me that I report uh, anytime Corvette World has, you know, something worth reporting. And I feel like them getting three 2021s in is definitely worth reporting to you guys. So just wanted to get that information to you guys. Uh, normally I do an outro with Robert in it, but again, I needed to get in, do the video, and get out, and on my way down the road. So, thank you guys so much for all of your amazing support on the channel. Uh, like I said in the beginning, we are on the precipice of 30,000 subscribers. Man, that number just seems unreal. I'm so excited about it and my goal for this year I mean I'd love to double that I would but I want to set an attainable goal so let's let's do 20,000 subscribers this year and get up to 50,000 I think we can do that so ladies and gentlemen if you enjoyed that video please give me and Robert a big thumbs up if you have not joined the wonderful Brink to Speak community, help us reach that 50,000 mark by hitting that red subscribe and the bell for notifications when new videos are uploaded. I hope each and every one of you has a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you 
out on the road.